don't, don't look down. down. Well, I, I, I need to look up because that's where the camera is. Hello there, guys. My name is Coaster Chow, and welcome to this video. Now, today is a fact file from Oblivion at the Alton Towers Resort. Now, this, my friends, is a very exciting video because, like the other fact files, we're going to be sharing with you the whole facts, the statistics, the history behind the ride, and the area. And also, guys, share with you a little, a little spoiler-free review because this is a fact file and not a review. So. Make sure you go check out the Oblivion review that we already did months ago on the channel. That'll be on the review playlist as well as the Alton Towers playlist. But for this facts file, let's get into this video and let's share with you some facts about this historic dive coaster. So the area which Oblivion sits in has a very unique story. Now Springfield Centre opened with the entire park in 1980. In 1984 they opened Fantasy World which is the fantasy section of the park. Not much theming around at the time, however the name Fantasy World clearly showed it was a family based area. However in 1997 something was happening. In 1997, construction began on one of the most secretive roller coasters ever built. The entire area of Fantasy World saw a changed atmosphere as every ride but the black hole was relocated elsewhere in the park and a huge construction site was formed. The only glimpse of what was to come was several banners located around the site stating World's First Ride opens March 1998. As the season of 1997 went by, each visit to the park saw a continuous excavation of a substantial hole which never seemed to end. The construction site was patrolled by mysterious operatives in a red uniform with a hard hat, informing guests to clear the area in an attempt to contain the secrets of what was happening behind the fences. Contrary to the polite and helpful nature of the rest of the staff on the theme park, these operatives showed no emotion and also contributed thoroughly to the build-up of the next big roller coaster coming to the park. Eventually, huge bulky track from manufacturer Bolger and Mabillard arrived on site, whipping up a speculation thunderstorm as to what was so secret about this brand new roller coaster. In the arrival of the festive season in 1997, the resort began to publish Christmas cards giving a very sub subtle hint as to what made Oblivion so unique by showing Father Christmas being pulled into a vertical dive in his sleigh by reindeers. With the arrival of the 1998 season, the ride was subject to extensive media coverage featuring on The Gadget Show and Blue Peter. The ride was also advertised on the packets of cornflakes in the run-up to opening. It was also part of the doc main documentary over the 1997 and 1998 seasons at Alton Towers called Alton Towers Magic Factory. You can check out that documentary on YouTube. Come opening day, March 1998, guests who ran straight to the row were presented with a very brand new area. Out with Fantasy World and in with the mysterious and sinister government facility known as X Sector, to which Oblivion loomed over. Now the ride itself is a fantastic ride experience which can be found at the bottom end of the new X sector section, meaning any guests who wish to take the plunge will have to walk past a huge vertical drop at some point on their journey to the queue entrance. The experience begins as the queue line slowly winds upwards in a repetitive pattern towards the station. Along the way the guests encounter the Lord of Darkness on a series of television screens, someone who clearly doesn't wish to put any uneasy guests' minds to rest. On occasion he'll be able to recite you the exact symptoms to which guests experience during the nerve-wracking wait for the experience ahead. To further any aid concerns regarding the ride, the Lord of Darkness's counterpart, the Lord of Light, will question you just how safe the ride is, informing you the ride cars haven't been seen returning after plunging into the gigantic hole in the ground. Upon the arrival in the station, guests will be batched into two rows by a member of staff. After all loose articles are stored in the baggage shelves across the platform, riders take their seats before pulling down the restraints. Once you've been safely secured, the Lord of Darkness will offer you some final comforting words to you, explaining just exactly what Oblivion is. Oblivion is a Bulgur and Mabillard dive coaster, and it's known as the Oblivion model. And there is a second one of these Oblivion models, located at Jan Fusun Fancy World, which is in Yulin County, Taiwan. It's known as Diving Machine G5, and it's got the same statistics as Oblivion basically a mirror image of the coaster. However, Oblivion was the prototype, as this one opened in 2000, two years after Oblivion opened. Oblivion has a length of 1,222 feet, a height of 65 feet, a drop of 180 feet, a speed of 68 miles per hour, a vertical angle of 87.5 degrees, a duration of 1 minute 15, a g-force pulling of 4.5, and it includes a 65 foot tall chain lift hill with a 180 foot drop, 
at an 87.5 degree angle into the tunnel. It has a capacity of 1,900 riders per hour and just like the most popular of coasters in the world, it was designed by Ing Buro Stengel GmbH who've designed many, many roller coasters over their long history. So there we go, guys. That is the dive machine experience known as Oblivion. Now, I didn't talk about the ride experience. I just talked about the queue line experience. For those of you who want to know more about the ride itself, then stick with it. Check the timestamps in the description down below because if you don't want some spoilers, then I've got a spoiler-free little, little spoiler-free review at the end. But for those of you who have stayed and want to know more about the experience, it was fantastic for me personally. Basically, yeah, the reason why I didn't talk about the ride experience is because basically, in summary, it goes up the lift hill, uh, turns, hangs there for about three seconds or so, uh, and then plunges you down. Um, and then it goes through the tunnel, and it goes straight through, and then you go through this nice overbank turn with a lot of... Uh, a lot of airtime, actually. It was very strange. A lot of airtime on the turn. And then you get dipped up into that final brake run past that second photo camera uh, into the brake run. So, you know, overall, that's just the ride experience. It's not the longest dive coaster in the world. It's definitely the uh, shortest one in the world, in my opinion. But, for what it's worth, it is a decent ride experience. And it's an iconic attraction. It's a very iconic attraction. So, for those of you who are back, here's your spoiler-free review. So no spoilers about what it happens. But what I can tell you is it was definitely worth the wait. It is an iconic attraction. Well worth getting the credit. It's like it's like other attractions around the UK. I feel very fortunate to have got the Wild Mouse at Blackpool Pleasure Beach before that was demolished. Uh, Revolution. I know that will probably go in 10, 15, 20 years. But I'm very, very glad to have got the credit. Um, all the classic Woodies at Blackpool, uh, Nemesis at Alton Towers, that is a classic, Corkscrew, I was very glad to get that before it closed, um, I was a bit ashamed that I didn't get Black Hole, a shame I wasn't tall enough for Black Hole, so, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is, it is what it is, and many other theme parks around the world, many other different theme parks around the world, and I'm glad to have got those credits. There was a show at Disneyland Paris. It was on at the time when I was when I was there in 2006, uh, and I got it just a few years before it closed. And it was Honey, I Shrunk the Audience Live, and that was a great experience. Great experience at Disneyland Paris. And I'm very glad to have got these credits. And Oblivion is one of those iconic credits which I, I'm so glad to have got now, um, because it's memories I can share for when I eventually do the video where they announce the permanent closure of Oblivion for whatever reason. Um, same with any other attraction, you know, when they announce a permanent closure for a classic attraction that I've done, I will have loads of memories to share with you guys, because Oblivion is one of those rides that will stay with me for the rest of my life. So, um, if you're going to Oblivion for the first time, and uh, now the parks are back open, I'd be prepared for the unexpected, because it might look like a short, it might look like a six second drop and a short layout, but be prepared for a lot packed into a little. That's what I'll say. Um, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this fact file on Oblivion at Alton Towers Resort. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell for more thrilling factual entertainment content. Uh, we do cover museums and water parks now as well, so we're going to be opening up our horizons with the just the theme, not just the theme parks and the midway attractions, but also the water parks and the museums and other attractions, interactive attractions as well. So thank you very much, guys. My name is Coach Chell. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.